So in the background you hear classical music. Now of all music, I think classical music has probably got the most resilience. <laughs> Over the years it's been hated, it's been loved, uh, it's been thrown aside, and it's the one genre that kind of where specific um, music is, is just um, played still today and acknowledged and enjoyed by many people still today. Very few other music types have really been able to do that. Now, in our lives, resilience is extremely important. Um, I read an article by Diane Kuchi just um, recently that put it together so sweetly. And I just wanted to acknowledge that I got this, this section from there um, because it resonated so well with with what I've been telling people and what I've, I've been sharing. Um, so what Diane basically said is that with resilience, the three things that are extremely important is that you face down the challenge um, or the reality that, that you're dealing with, which as I've been sharing with you, um, the wild horse would tell you don't. The wild horse would make um, a a molehill into a, uh, a mountain, it would tell you that you can't face down this reality. But acknowledging the reality, checking what are the wild horses there, acknowledging what's happening at the moment is really the first step um, in being more resilient. The second step that Diane uh, put out there was putting meaning uh, with the challenge that you're experiencing. So that what you are experiencing is not meaningless, but it's got a meaning. Um, on a level of faith, we, we believe that God um, will take us through it and that he'll grow us in that. Uh, on other levels, you, you would say, well, what can I learn from this process? How can I, I grow in this process? Uh, and what is there that is positive that could work for me? What is there that I should acknowledge and, and be thankful for? Giving it meaning and, 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 and trying to get to a point where uh, what we're going through now impacts somebody else as well, impacts my future, impacts the next generation. Uh, and knowing that I'm going to use whatever I'm going through now to help those people gives me just that extra boost um, to f improvise and find some solutions, which is the third step that Diane put out. When we look at our wild horse, that is um, causing us to fall on our face every time, we, we can acknowledge um, that this is bad, but we could learn from it and find a replacement. And we could know that this in future would help us to be more effective, which gives it meaning. And then we could improvise. We could look at what options are there, what possibilities are there that we could move forward. I hope that you can do this not only for yourself, but you could help other people around you that we could Build a um, environment of people that are far more resilient. I hope that this um, brief summary uh, helps you and that you will implement it and use it. And that we can all help others and ourselves to be more resilient. Have fun.